What's up, Pam? Can you hear me? Sorry about that. Um, we'll give them a couple minutes for people to come over here. All right. Good. Sorry about that, guys. You can hear me better? So how's everybody doing? Sorry about that. I got to figure that shit out, OBS. Hey, Lillian. Jost. Uh. So... Yesterday, I called Brian Park Hill, um, and we were trying to get her into rehab. She agreed to go to rehab. Her her mom reached out to me, and or her sister did, asked if I can ask her to go to rehab. They were nervous. She would say no. Um, they said that Amber tends to listen to me more, which, you know, I get it. Um, it's easier to say no to family members a lot of the times and stuff. So what happened was I contacted Brian Park Hill. He said he'd get her into Valley Forge. Um, they were going to release her from the hospital. We got all that stopped. She was going to rehab. And because, um, yeah, sorry, G, it was really laggy. So I had to start another one. Um but they're saying because, uh, yeah, I have to get my surgery tomorrow, G. My fault. I thought I told you. My bad. <laughs> um, my surgery's tomorrow at noon. I don't know how my eyes are going to be. Um, so, my fault, G. Um, so, yesterday um, and this morning, we were just waiting on the paperwork and getting ready to send Amber to Valley Forge um, rehab. Then I got a call at about three o'clock this afternoon saying that because she has the trach in it, the hole is not closed. Um, they won't accept her. They say she needs higher care than what's available at um, Valley Forge. What's up, Marlene? <clears throat> Uh, so Amber's mom messaged me. We've been trying to figure out what to do. What's up, Wendy? Um, she's on her way to her mom's house, and then we are going to try and um, look for other rehabs and then sober living for her. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not upset with it. It's it's just it's a shame. You know, um, it's uh, they knew about the trait going into it and they said yes when she originally had it when you know they knew about it i don't know why they just switched um i don't know if it's because of amber's history that tump runs into it a lot um i don't know it's just uh pissing me off uh you know i it was just i if she goes out um starts getting high again right away she is dead like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's shitty, man. I just, I wanted her to have a chance, go to, you know, she, she just got the trait relieved, removed, or the oxygen. She's 87 pounds, and they want her to, um, do the trait care by herself. And they sent Amber, they're sending Amber a, you know, they're sending, even sending her home with um, pain medication to her mom's house. Um, it's just, uh, it, it blows my mind. No, I, she hasn't been, and that's a good thing. Um, uh, no, they're, they're like a, they're not too far, but um, uh, 
Well, yeah, that's what we were trying to do. But, you know, that's why I got a hold of Brian. I thought he was going to be able to do it. But they're not able to do it. So, um, yep, they released her. Or they are in the process of doing it this afternoon. Well, they have, it's a hole there. The oxygen is out, but the hole still needs to close. Um, you know? She needs like a sober living uh, um, situation. She needs, uh, she's, you know, she goes back out there. She'll be dead in a couple, in a week. It's just, it sucks, man. She's come this far. It seems like she did want to change. She does want to change, but it's just hard, man. No, it's it, this stuff only happens in third world countries like America. You know, people yell at me for talking shit on this country so much, but I it just I see stuff like this happening, and it's just um, it's it's trash. Our entire um, healthcare system is just trash. Um, Eighty eight dollars. Holy shit. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, they do rule a roost, man. It's uh no, she's just still in the hospital. It's um it's uh it just pissing me off. It's like cause uh it's been four months almost now. She's like I said, eighty seven pounds, she could barely walk, and they're just letting her go. I don't know. We uh, we um, we have a a, a little bit saved up for the um, GoFundMe for sober living. They're gonna try and find that. It's just um, it's uh, it's frustrating, man. Yeah, that's another thing. They're 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 releasing her with, you know, still on the fentanyl patches. It's it, it just doesn't make sense, man. It's um, I don't know, man. It's fucking She's going to go to her mom's house for a little bit. The problem is is the mom's house is already overcrowded and and um, there's just not really room. They're going to put her in for a little bit, but you know, she needs, she needs supervised living stuff like that. It's, um, it's crazy, man. Yeah. It's backwards. This, this whole, um, the way this whole healthcare and this, it's all backwards. This country, man, it's retarded. It's so stupid. <laughs> I, I just, it's, it's just frustrating me, man. Um, no, not really. Not, not, um, no, no family really. Yeah. And okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're, we're going to keep trying. Um, it just, the thing that pisses me off is she said yes so fast to going to rehab. She said yes so fast to go and yeah, it might not close though. They're they're having trouble closing it. So, you know. I don't know. It's uh I was um I had a good day today. I, you know, I found out about my car or whatever. Um well Valley Forge is the one that uh, has like the hospital wing that in Eagleville. He, he's trying Eagleville Valley Forge wouldn't. Um, their social worker is the one that was trying to get her kicked out of the hospital. The social worker was a, a huge piece of shit. They they see what's um they you know part of the problem with Amber is because her her story is so public. Everyone 
thinks they know her story and, and they think she won't change. And so they, you know, I think they're a lot less likely to help her knowing how, how long she's been at it and out there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, she just, she, just, she needs um, structure, man. That's it. She just needs some structure. You know, I, I just, um, I'm, um, I'm not optimistic about Amber's future now at all. I, I, I I'm actually terrified for her. Um, I, I, and I hate to say this, but, um, I, I am not, I, I do not think she's going to make it out there like this. That shit hurts me to say, but it is. Um, that's the only time I ever did fentanyl was when we were younger, we stole a bunch of my friends. Um, grandmother was going through cancer and had them. And then we opened up and ate them. And one well, my friend's little brother wound up dying from it. So I kind of got scared of fentanyl, but I was back in like 1997. Um, I'm glad, yeah, me too, man. I'm glad he still is, man. Uh, I hope she makes it. I just, it's, um, it's, uh, it's tough. What's up, camel nuts? <laughs> What's up, Greg? How you doing, bud? My friend Greg is here, right here. Guys, he has the largest testicles in America. Um, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, Greg is one of my um, camel. <laughs> Greg is one of my um, very good friends from high school that I, uh, that while he was being a fucking nerd and went to college. I was doing heroin. Pump day it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, phew. Wow, yeah, I, we, um, we like scraped them out and and uh, we had to microwave them back then. The patches, I think we scraped them. We did this. I'm talking about at uh, Eric Main's house. We we stole uh, his, I think it was his grandmother's fentanyl patches. And then uh, um, Eric's brother's little friend, little little best friend, Billy, died from doing it. Well, that, that's the thing. We don't know because, um, uh, but you know, it, with the trach and stuff, we're trying to figure it out, man. Um, I, I don't know. We, we we were hoping we wouldn't have to deal with this right now. We, we really thought she was going to a damn, um, um, to a damn uh, a rehab. Okay. Yeah, do that. Well, so now I, I don't, I, you can't open up fentanyl patches um, like you used to. Um, I don't think so. Um, they used to be like a gel, but now it's like a sticky where it's like a time release thing. Um, that's what I, I think. I don't know. So I was in Camden today. I had a really good day in Camden. I had an awesome interview with this girl, Rolly. Um, she's a awesome girl. She's going to help me a lot in Camden. Um, I might go back there Saturday morning. I was looking for, for this girl. She recognized a girl. Um, I had a good day in Camden. A very good day. Um, Listen, at least they have a system. We, we literally have nothing. I'll take that over ours any fucking day. Um, you know, any day. 
What's up, Grace? I saw you. I forgot to say something. I can't find you now. But hello, Grace. How you doing? Oh, wow. Nursing homes? Oh, so my car. Um, so you remember when my alternator died a couple months ago? Um, battery, I got the battery, and I think I did the alternator, too. Well, there was a... Hold on. I am an absolute idiot when it comes to cars. I mean, I am a horrible retard when it comes to cars. Can you see that? No. Well, anyway, the housing that um, the housing that bolts the alternator to the engine and stuff that broke. So they have to take the engine out, whatever. It's like four hours of of um um service labor like for at least four hours um he said that's why it's gonna cost like twelve twelve hundred dollars um it's that and um a, a gasket was uh leaking some valve black gasket so uh i just took it up to the hyundai dealership or i got it towed up this way I just like it, it happened. I was uh, driving. Um, I was driving in, Cam in Camden the other morning and just I was just driving and I heard this horrible noise. And then um, the I saw the temperature gauge shot up. And so, I, you know, I pulled over and I saw it was uh, it was all screwed up. Um, but, you know, he said it'll be like twelve hundred dollars in three days. It'll be it'll be ready. Oh, I think it's been a, a while since they've seen each other. So that's going to be another, uh, another, uh, uh, little dynamic in this whole thing. Um, yeah, no, I just, I just sent it to, I just got it, uh, sent to Hyundai. They're going to do it. Mouth is fine. I got the bottom one redone. They had to like grind some stuff down. Um, so it, it's not hurting as much. I, dude, I, listen, I think it was, I'm so happy it happened before I got, imagine if I was in like East Jabip, Idaho when it happened and I didn't have any cell service and, you know, start walking somewhere and I'll get raped by a bear and die or something. I don't know. Who knows? But I am glad it happened. Um, so it could work out. I, I, I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's it for, um, uh, insurance is not wanting to cover those things right now. That's the hard stuff. I have dentures. Yeah, it's all it's about her it's about her her insurance, dude. That's the problem. I have a um a very bad fear of getting eaten by a bear. For someone that doesn't ever go to woods where their bears are, I, I have like a very bad irrational fear of getting eaten by a bear what's up Deanna I was just talking about you how you doing well kind of talking about you yeah it's, she's got you know we can only we can only do that you know at some point she's gotta want to stay there too I agree with you but it's a it's a shitty um predicament like she's <laughs> I just don't understand how someone can look at, at her and think she's all right to go to uh um go be by herself I don't get it <laughs> I was just down there yesterday I love that fucking neighborhood
not really a smile yet. So I was up in a um, a juvenile detention center in the Poconos. And I was, uh, you know, we have to do our chores and stuff. And, you know, I was working in the kitchen or whatever. I forget what we were doing. And and you had to take the trash to the dumpster. And I'll never forget. um, I took the one, you know, I was carrying the bag and I got to the dumpster and I threw it. And as I was throwing it over the dumpster, a bear stood up. And like, so I smacked the bear in the face with the, um, with the plastic bag of, uh, um, garbage. He flaked, freaked out. I saw him. I started running. It was a shit show. He ran the other way. I ran the other way, but it was, uh, it was fun though. <laughs> then, you never know, man. The uh, problem with bears, if they do decide to eat you, they, they're going to hold me down and eat your asshole first while you're still alive. And I, I'm scared of that. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, we're, we're trying. Her, her insurance literally said they're releasing her to the house because they won't cover anything. Um, I don't know. We tried. Bears in the garbage dump. Nice. I will. I just, I got to get that. You know, it's, I say I'm going to start a lot of stuff. I got burnt out with Kensington. I'm not going to lie. I just, I got really burnt out down there. Um, oh, that shooting that happened right in my brother's name. I, that actually happened in a good, that is, my brother's neighborhood is like the best neighborhood in Philly. It happened a couple of blocks down from my brother's house. It was uh, what was I trying to say? Yeah, it was some. It was a um, a security guard shot some guy or something. Yeah, she just needs to have a, a clean drug test. That's uh, what you need is a clean drug test. All right, thanks, and I appreciate that. Yeah, it was right on. Um, it was right in your neighborhood. G. It was like. Uh, 26th and where that it's at the gas station. Um, 26th and Spring Garden, maybe. Uh, I forget what street that is. Yeah, that's Spring Garden. No, yeah, it is Spring Garden. It's 26th and Spring Garden or something like that. In between 17th and 18th. I like Spring. I love it down there, man. Uh, it was. I think it was in a rock. I was a rock. I think the guy was just fighting with the security guards there. And the security guard um, just dumped on him. All right, yeah. If I'm if I'm still here for that, I'm definitely. Gonna, I was looking at the dates. I was I'm, if I'm still in this area, I'm gonna go up for that one. It was good though that my when my car broke down in Camden, it was right when the um, it was right where the uh, when the eclipse started happening. So I got to. Uh, Well, watch that. Um, it was cool. I, I have here. I'll show you what it is. Hold on. It's called the ND filter, and it's like a like it'll get. You see how it makes everything darker. Well, I was able to watch. I held it to my eye. I was scared. I didn't want to, you know, I'm an idiot. So I didn't want to screw up this new camera. So I uh, I just put it up to my eye like this and I watched. But there was a, a school getting let out. And this lady ran over with like eight kids. And they were all like, some of them had glasses, but some of them didn't. And so they were like, can we watch? So I started giving them and they wound up using it the whole time. But the kids were cool. I, you know, I like messing around with kids, so I just let them play with it. It was cool to see the um, thing. It's in the 
um, shop. Hopefully, it'll be ready by this weekend. I'm hoping. Where is... Excuse me. I don't know where Amber's daughter is. I don't... I don't bring that up. I don't... Um, and it's a... I think it's a touchy subject with them. Maybe her mom has it. Maybe the family still has her. I'm not sure, though, and I just don't want to bring it up. From what money? What are you even talking about? Her daughter was adopted years ago. Yeah, that's, that's, it's not my business either. That's why I just leave that alone. I, I, you know, she brings it up to me a couple times and showed me pictures, but that's the only time I bring it up. I know it's uh, um, it's a touchy subject for her, so I just, you know, if she's ready to talk about it to me, she can. Until then, I just, I don't push stuff like that. Um, so, oh, um, I'm, I think I'm going to go... Deanna, 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 what's your name? Deanna. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back down there Saturday to Camden. May, I might have luck seeing your friend there. Um, uh, we're having a bad day about her. Um, she uh, she got denied rehab, so they're releasing her to her parents' house. Um, yeah, I'm pissed off, man. I just uh, fucking... About to watch a good friend of mine die again or die now. It's uh, I'm upset. Um, I will, I definitely will. <laughs> Man, those are uh, the conspiracy theory people about that. That hurt my brain too. And yeah, I mean, the thing is, is she's still on pain medicine, and they won't let her into one of those when she still has it in her system. So that's the problem. They're in, they're in the suburbs somewhere. That's all I know. Um, you know, I, I, I try and. They've had a rough, uh, a rough time dealing with Amber these years, and and they get a lot of abuse online because of Amber. So I, um, I I try to be like their piece or their, you know what I'm saying. I don't try and push buttons or poke or anything like that. I just, um, you know, um, I I I'm I'm assuming. Three days, maybe like other opiates. I don't know though. I've never had to. I'm not, I, I'm not, I am not familiar with fentanyl, and I'm gonna keep it like that. I could probably should probably know the answer to something like that, but I'm, I'm assuming 72 hours, like other opiates, maybe five days. Um, yeah, it's you know, um. Even the detox, because it wasn't street drugs or there, and she wasn't there on the fentanyl long enough or something, it, it, you know, it's just all has comes down to money. Um, yeah, me too. Um, now it's they, she is on the lowest microgram, um, patch you can get. It, she's not on that, but still, she's still on it, man. Um, I, I don't know, I it's. I don't know. I, 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 it just pisses me off. And I'm trying not to like curse and throw stuff and still trying to be nice. And, you know, I get frustrated about this. I don't know if she's in pain. I don't think so. Um, I don't know how that would work. Um, I, it's, it is very hard to get into a rehab with that. Yeah, they're uh, yeah they're sending her to her mom's house. Um, it was either go to her mom's house or a shelter. Yeah, 
he, that's the scary part. We don't know. We don't know. It's and the the hospital's kind of just pushing her off. Her mom. Yeah, three thirty. Um, I'll keep the things, uh, you know, private. But her mom started texting me at three thirty, like losing her mind. Um, it's third, like she was freaking crying. It's, you know, it got she got this far. Um, she's been off of uh, street drugs for almost four months now. Uh, you know, it's just, it's wild. Yeah, good luck. That that is one of the hardest things to do in the state of Pennsylvania. I had a doctor like literally admit that he screwed my head up when I had my um blood clot back here. There's not it there is so hard to sue in this state. I think this is one of the hardest states in America to sue for for medical malpractice. Um yeah, you know, now maybe she comes out of it and, and she does good. I, I, um, well, she's nervous. Um, she was trying, she wanted to go to rehab bad. She was, she was like, uh, she's at Temple. So she's like, I can look out the window and look at Kensington. She's like, I don't want to be here. She's like, it's hard for me to, um, look at it. And I completely understand. Um. You know, she was she was nervous, scared. Um, she wanted, she was like, "When are they picking me up for rehab? I want to go. I want to go. I don't want to be around here." Um, you know, it, it's that sucks. Uh, she she genuinely wanted to go. <laughs> yeah, and like this isn't. You know, we know, we've watched how many times Amber has, uh, wait, what happened? Hold on, guys. Hold on. One second, guys. Hold on. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> talking record. All right, my fault. What the hell happened there, man? All right, we're back. No, it's weird. Is that what it was? Huh? Oh well. You work in healthcare. Uh, Take over. Um, yeah, man, it's it's tough with Amber. I don't know what to do. I don't know, you know. Um, I wish I had something like cool to say about it. I wish, you know, if she goes, if she's been months without these street drugs, you know, and she does a bag of Kensington fat and all, she's uh you know. I don't even want to say it, but I, she'll probably die instantly. Um, I don't know. It's such a stupid, 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 um, stupid thing. What's up, Jamie? How you doing? Yeah, we, you know, we, 
I had Brian call and he was yelling at the uh, the the hospital. Um, her mom was, her dad was. I I tried to. I I told her mom. I told her sister. I said, "You guys give me the word. I'll go in there and just start swinging on people and cursing." Um, but there needs to be family, or I need to be on the um, you know. I, so I did. That's a great question. Um, so over there, it, it seems like they have the trank under control a little bit better. Like you can, the girl Rolly said you can definitely get straight fat and all without the trank in it. Um, uh, it she said she doesn't see too many people with uh, open sores there. She said it, there is a couple girls that have them. There was a girl named Emily that was interviewed in Camden. I don't know what other channels go over there. Um, maybe you guys know it. Does ATM go over there? Does Mal go to Camden? There was a, a girl named Emily she was talking about that was interviewed. Um, it was, uh, and she said uh, the girl just passed away not too long ago and, um, you know, had a really crazy story. Um, the Fox dude does, oh, okay. It might have been him that did it. It was a girl named Emily. Oh, that, holy shit, never mind. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. She did. That makes complete sense because she said, uh, what'd she say? Um, she was like, oh, yeah, he was, all he wanted to do was ask questions about sex work. So um, that makes completely sense. She was like, it all he was doing is sex work questions. So, hold on. That makes sense. Uh, sorry, guys. I didn't expect this fucking thing to screw up. Um, one second. Is this going to work? better so i don't know i did not ask what they um gave her i just brought it up with her mom but they are doing it they are giving her stuff which is it fucking blew my mind that uh Yeah, well, that's what she she said. It's um, she said it's a lot, a lot less um, than Philly with the sores. I talked to about fifteen people today. I think ten. I didn't see anyone with sores, but they're definitely around there. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That sucks. I don't like that. I was uh the right near where you um the uh maps you sent me to. I was right near the um methadone place. And then across the street from there, it's like uh you know, it's just nothing there. It's all abandoned um yacht uh, or um yards and it was, just did not look uh it was just all beat up and so just down Broadway, um, I went down to Jefferson, um, just around that area. Yeah, no, I get it. I, it just it was uh, that they 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 tend to um, that's all they do is focus on sex work questions and stuff like that. The reason I brought that up is every single girl that I've interviewed that they've interviewed 
as soon as I'm done, they ask me for not being a creep with the questions. Literally everyone. Stacy started crying after the interview. Yeah, it, it is hit up pretty well. Um, you you are right. They they hide them a lot better, or they hide the uh, the tents and stuff. Uh, I I agree with you on that. I think they use abandoned buildings there more. I really do. Um, I think that's what what's going on. That is scary, dude. I hope this isn't. I mean, I, I believe you. Um, no, yeah, I, I get that. It's. I. I just. I. I, I think there comes a, a, a point when if it's you know, those are the only questions you ask. Then when you're dealing with females, um, I. I just. I don't. I don't agree with it. It just. I. I feel like there. There's other questions you can ask. You know those. Those girls that are getting interviewed, that's someone's daughter. It's normally somebody's, you know, mom at that point. And I just, I don't, I don't understand what asking them about how many dicks they suck that day is going to help with um, spreading awareness for fat and all. That's just, it just, that's how I am, you know, I just, I don't, it doesn't, I don't see how that, now, there's times when if a girl brings up sex work, I, then yeah, I, I'll talk about it. I'll, you know, um, but it's I just know it brings a lot of there's a lot of trauma involved in it. Um, a lot of a lot of bad things happened to these females when they were doing a um, when they were uh, doing the sex work. So it's uh, you know I just I. I appreciate that they are willing to get on camera and interview for me. But I also understand that the only reason they are doing it is because they want the money. So I try and keep it, you know, as respectful as possible because I understand they are only doing it for um, the money. Some of them like to talk, but... Some of them like to tell their stories, but at the end of the day, and I, I realized this after doing this the last two years, almost none of them want to do these interviews. They're doing it for money. Um, so I just, uh, I try and make it as, as easy as possible. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. No, I get it. I get it. We're just having a conversation here. It's not that I just, that's just how I feel, man. It's, uh. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a good, there's a, and, you know, all time media, they get a tons of views. He's smart with it. Um, he, they know what they're doing with the clickbait titles and the, the questions. They're, they're smart with it. I'm not knocking their hustle. I just something I, I wouldn't do. I don't, I just, I don't, I don't agree with it. Um, so, most of the guys will either um, scrap metal. Um, you see a lot of guys going around with shopping carts and they're picking up metal. Um, and then they'll take it to a uh, um, you know, recycling plant and then get uh, money that way. A lot of them boost um, steel. That's a huge thing. They'll go in and out and stealing. Um, and then they – so what happens is – all those corner stores we see down in Philly, every last one of those buy stolen goods off the um, the people. You know, they get cheap. Um, they get cheap. Uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, cheap products in their store. Um, you know, so so that's a huge thing, and and that's you know when. Um, what they'll do is they'll take the um, trains into the nicer neighborhoods, um, you know, steal up in like where I'm from up here. They'll come up here to steal and then go back down. 
and then a lot of guys down there. Um, so a lot of guys down there, this is, you are completely right with this. A lot of guys down there will date a girl or be with a girl just knowing because how much money they can make. Um, um, you know, uh, yeah, that's, listen, I have not talked to one person that has gotten received money. I've talked to about 10 people that they've done these GoFundMes for. I have not talked to one homeless person in all of Kensington that has received money from them. Uh, uh, it might happen, but they uh, GoFundMe. GoFundMe, that's what that stands for. I, I, have, I, I ask almost everyone that I encounter down there if they've gotten GoFundMe money from, um, from that channel. And it's just not one person has said yes. So, I mean, I'm sure it has happened, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it'll be news to me when I, when I meet someone. Oh, uh, Daniel, what's up, bud? Uh, it takes something. Yeah. 20%. I don't think it's that much, but it, it, it does something. Um. Yeah, do you don't remember um Frankie? Uh he used to talk about that. Or he talked about that in the interview I did with him before he passed away. Um and it's weird. His date was different. He went to he used to go to the neighborhood and um and it's just weird like guys would do dates with him, but he would be receiving oral from the guy that was paying him. I'm like you got paid to get your dick sucked? Jesus, I wish I was gay sometimes. Um, man, oh, the neighborhood. I love, yeah. It's um it's in Center City. It's one of the best. It's it's actually like my one of my favorite neighborhoods in, in the city, man. I love it. It's uh I used to go down there and film it a lot when, see, this is what I look like with no dentures. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. I love going to the clubs down there. It really is. And I'll go down there and, um, I used to, we used to go out there and go drink in there because um, when you go down um, and party in a gay neighborhood, you don't have to worry about <laughs> you don't have to worry about um, uh, getting in fights after the bar and all that stuff. It's normally just an awesome time. Yeah, Woody's is awesome, man. I love that fucking place. Um, I love it there, and I, I just love it. I like going out there because I just I always um, it's other bars in Philly, you know, there's usually muscle headed freaks ready, you know, and who's my friends are like that. But um, I try and get free drinks. Actually, I, I get free drinks because I'll flirt the fuck out of with someone for a free drink. I don't give a shit. I'm an ugly, ugly man. So if I can get free drinks, I'll do it. I, uh, I will openly flirt in a gay bar. I don't give a shit. What's up, Arthur? How you doing, bud? You're in here. What's good, man? These dentures? Okay. There is a place in the Northeast Philly called Bill's Denture Lab. Oh, wait. I just fucked everything up. Bill's. I cannot recommend this place enough. He was awesome. It was 750 for the bottom one. And then it was 200 to get this one or 300 to get it really, um, uh, to get it, uh, re whatever. Yeah. That's cause you're fucking good looking. Jost, you jackass. Yeah. Hippie, vegan, good looking freak. 
No, it's a great price. Oh, we're just chilling, Arthur. Hey, Denise, what's up? Um, Australia, what's up? You just wanted me to call you attractive again, Jost. That's it. <laughs> uh, and but I'm getting it so this thing is so comfortable now the top one. I just gotta get used to wearing the bottom one. <laughs> Did you see him yet, Joe? Uh gee. He's a good looking guy, man. And he's a and even more important, he's a he's a nice guy. That's the most important thing. He's one of them fucking plant eating hippies, but we'll we'll give him a pass for that. I got free drinks a couple times. Um so I yeah, that's another thing. I, you know, I told her, wait a month or if she gets better in a month, you can, we, so what me and Amber's plan was, is to go up to New York for a weekend in, um, May and do a, like a sightseeing trip in New York city. <clears throat> She's never been up there. Um, and I, I thought, you know, giving her that option saying, you know, we'll go to New York if you. You know, if you're still doing good this time next month, when I get back from wherever, uh, she was like, are you serious? Um, I'm like, yeah. She's like, I, I wanted to go up there my whole life. She's like, I've always wanted to go to New York. I said, well, we'll go next month. It's just got to, it's got to, you know, not be on fentanyl. <laughs> but I thought it would be cool, you know, to, to take her up to see New York City, you know, um, it's uh, you know, it's such a big tourist spot that you know I can put her in a wheelchair if it's you know if she can't walk too much or too long, I can just throw her in a little wheelchair. Um, she's ninety pounds. I'll pick her up and throw her over my shoulder if we need. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's my exact thing. Um, you know, take her out to a good food in, in New York City, um, show her Times Square, um, go to like the, see the Lion King, um, you know, the play. I just think she would love all that. Um, yes, the problem is, is you have to be, um, you have to be a, a Christian to go there um, and you know, if, so someone can go there and if they're not religious, they have to lie and say they're religious. That's it. But yeah, they do. Um, I, I recommend against the Salvation Army, though. They uh, they our money, our donations. They send kids to um, anti uh, gay camps and stuff, conversion camps with that money. I, I don't agree with that stuff. Yeah, um, I agree with you. I it's you know, um, I was wanting her to come up to a um, this place, Liberté. Do you remember the place Jess went? The all women's um, halfway house. So my plans for Amber um, were to come up here go to Liberté and then go to a, um, a halfway out or a recovery house up here. I know a lot of girls up here that are in the program that are doing really good stuff. Um, yeah, that would be so awesome. I think, man, I really do. Yo, is that still free? I was going to go on that last time I was up there, but I, I didn't have to. Uh, she, it's the, uh, Medicare, man, Medicaid. It's got to be in PA. Um, she tr we tried to. They, she doesn't have any. Um, she doesn't have any um, illegal narcotics in her system. Yeah, they are the worst, man. They are the worst. The, no, I mean, they, they, 
Well, they might. I don't know. But Temple usually they usually outsource that. You know, the way our healthcare system works is you need to have um, every part of the system needs to be able to profit as much as possible. So, um, yeah, that that was over four months ago. You still need to have them in your system now for it to work. That's four months ago. Yeah, they definitely can. Um, with levels and all that stuff, absolutely. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I think he owns the old one, not this new one, right? I thought they, or he might. If he does, that's awesome. But I, I thought it was the old one he got. But I, I could be wrong. Do you have a Vazendas there? Vazendas? I have no idea what Vazendas. Now I got to look that up real quick. Vazendas. I don't know what that is. Is it a restaurant? I see Vazenda restaurant in Brazil or something. I don't know what it is. Sorry. Yeah, it was the it was the older older one? Okay. Now I so I my family's from Bay Ridge and, and so we would go into Staten Island and take the ferry in a lot. Um No, nah, she's been in a hospital though. I don't know. They can test and see what it is and you know. Um Trust me guys, we've been We've been trying, um, you know, and I know you guys are just asking questions because you guys are, um, you care. You guys are good people, man. I, you, I have like some of the best people here following. I, I know I'm, if I, I'm not like getting angry or if I get in short with you guys, it's just because I'm frustrated at the situation. It's not you guys asking the questions or nothing like that. Um, uh, um, you know. Oh, okay. So it is a, so that's funny. I just, uh, okay. So we have kind of some stuff like that, but, um, not really. Uh, what do you, what are you cooking? Yeah, I am too. Um, but, you know, I knew, um, you know, I knew it was going to be tough. Uh, it was tough to get just a bed. Um, you know, that wasn't easy. But I don't know, man. It's it's frustrating. I want to um, be able to tell you guys something will be all right or, you know, something like that. A weed based, huh? I, you know, I waited three years. I did first three years of, of complete sobriety when I got sober. Um, and then I got my medical marijuana card. And, and when I look back at it, I, I don't know why I waited those three years. I think early recovery, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm okay with, uh, um, being sober those three years, I just, the uh, marijuana has helped me sleep a lot. It's really, my quality of life has gotten better. I freaking love pharma. Oh. I actually wish I had some more friends that were Middle Eastern so I could, they could teach me how to cook it. It's uh. Well, yeah, that's so. So I'm at the point now with Amber, like I wanted her to be on camera as little as possible. Um, I didn't even want to do that last interview with her, but you know, I know she needed um, GoFundMe money. I didn't even like I. Uh, the alls I wanted was, um, okay, I'll give it to her. All I wanted with 
Amber is just for her to heal and get better and, and her mind clear up and, and just um I just wanted her to be able to take all the time she needed healing and I didn't want to um think about putting a camera in her face or um you know I'm Amber's a friend of me. It's the, the, the YouTube channel doesn't mean shit to me anymore about it. I, I don't care about the YouTube channel um, or making money off it or videos when it comes to Amber. That might sound, I'm not trying to sound cool or nothing, but I, I care about her friendship more than I do about a YouTube channel. I, I just, I wanted her to just heal in private, you know. Um, I might have to do another video now with her to, for more, um, you know, help raise some more money for her GoFundMe or something. I understand that, but I just, uh, um, she is been, she, now listen, we know how much shit she's been through. And we also know that a lot of it, she created herself, you know, a lot of it, but you know, um, I just, uh, I just wanted her to heal, get better, you know. I I think the, the um, hospital uh, is going to bring her there. Uh, what's that guy's name? Um, Rick something. Rick Bayless? There's a white guy or a white looking guy from Chicago. All right. See you later. I'm going to right now. Anyway, um, there was a guy from Chicago, a, a Mexican cook. I used to watch him on um, PBS and stuff like that. Um, all right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I, I love all you. Um, I will see you guys Sunday. Hopefully I don't go blind with this stupid surgery tomorrow. You know, we'll see. I hate it too, Mommy Works. I hate it too. I really do. I really do. Love all you guys. I'll see you Sunday, definitely. All right, guys.